boys and girls, and welcome back to another week of art. This week we are creating a collage, which is where we cut pieces of paper and glue them all together. And we are creating some ice cream because it is starting to get warm outside and it's starting to become summer very soon. And with the heat in the summer, we really think of ice cream. So we're gonna create three stacked layers of ice cream inside a big, beautiful glass bowl. We are going to use scissors, glue, a pencil, an eraser, and some markers. You're going to need a white piece of paper for your background, a blue piece of paper for your container that your ice cream is going to be scooped into, and then three different colors for your ice cream. I thought about creating vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry ice cream. So I'm using pink, brown, and white. And then of course we want a piece for our cherry that's gonna go on top. So we're going to need a total of five different pieces of paper that we're going to cut and one piece for everything to be glued onto. So six total pieces of paper. If you don't have different colors of paper, you're welcome to color or paint just normal paper and then wait for it to dry and then cut it out and use that. So let's go ahead and get started. So we are going to start by decorating our background paper. So we can decorate it with maybe diagonal stripes all the way down, maybe some zigzags, maybe some wavy lines, maybe some uh, dots or spirals, however you wanna decorate it. I'm gonna start by using markers that are bright colors and I'm gonna draw spirals. So I'm gonna draw a bunch of spirals all over my paper. Now that I have my background drawn and all the spirals filled in, you don't have to make spirals. You can use any shape that you want, any design that you want for your background. I just really like how spirals look. So I used lots of different colors. Some are going off the page. Uh, they fill up the entire background. So if you draw stripes or zigzags, it has to fill up the entire space. And you can think about a pattern that you can create with the different stripes or zigzags or wavy lines, however you want to do that. So now we're gonna create our jar that our ice cream is going to sit inside of. So I'm using this blue piece of paper and the first thing I can see is that if I use this whole paper, it's gonna be really big and there's not gonna be a lot of room for my ice cream. So I kinda of wanna move it down and if I move it down, I can see that if I add some scoops on top, I'll have some good layers to create for my ice cream. So I can either draw a line showing where I'm going to stop, and then I can fold it and cut off that edge, or you can just cut off and fold fold and cut off that extra piece. You don't have to draw the line. But the line helps me kind of guide me to the amount. So now I'm going to take that paper and we're going to use symmetry. So we're going to take our paper and we're going to fold it in half. And we want to make sure that we start drawing our designs so that they're going towards that center where we folded the lines because we want when we open it up, we want it to stay together so it's a design on both sides. If we start drawing and we go towards the paper that's um, not together, where it opens up, then we're going to create a design that we have to glue back together and we want it to be together. So make sure that you are drawing your designs so that they are towards that center fold. So I'm gonna create kind of like this big U shape with a small straight line that goes towards the bottom and then a curved line that comes down. Okay, so I'm making sure that I'm drawing the lines that are going towards that center 
where the line the paper is going to connect so that when I open it up it's going to be the same shape on both sides. If I open it up and the shape is on the other side then it's going to be in two pieces. So make sure before you cut that it's the shape that you want. When you open it up it should look like it's going to connect together. So now I'm going to cut as best as I can on the line that I created with pencil. All right, so as you can see, this is the negative space or the pieces that I didn't want. So if your design comes out in half, then you could just glue it together and that can be the shape of your bowl or you can restart it on a new piece of paper, but try to make sure that you cut and it comes out in one piece so that you have a nice bowl that's gonna sit at the bottom of your paper. And you have all this space for your ice cream. So you want it to be about, about halfway up the middle of your paper. So if I were to fold my paper in half, it would, be, it would meet in the middle. So that's about the size of paper that you want. So the bottom half of your paper should have the ice cream container and the top half should have your ice cream that you place inside. So we have three different pieces of ice cream and I'm going to show you a trick to make all your ice cream come out the same. So you're going to draw on just one, but see you can see all three pieces are together and I'm going to kind of make it look kind of like a cloud the big round top and then two curved lines. So I drew it on just one and now I'm going to cut all three pieces at the same time. So I will have all three pieces of ice cream already cut out. Now if you want it, each piece to be a little bit different then you wouldn't do this. But this is a kind of like a little trick or a tip for cutting out the same shape multiple times without repeating it more than once. So I have three scoops of ice cream all cut out. Now I can adjust the bottom of this so that I have some wavy lines so it doesn't look so straight across the bottom. I can make it look like it's dripping however I want to create the ice cream. And that way it looks a little bit different because the bottoms are not the same because we're not cutting them all at the same time. Now we have, we have our container for our ice cream. We have our different scoops of ice cream. Now you can see my pencil line, so I know that I wanna put the glue on that side. Same with this. I wanna put the glue on the side that has the pencil lines. And I wanna th think about how I wanna stack the ice cream. Do I want white and then the vanilla and then the strawberry and then the chocolate or do I want the chocolate and then the strawberry and then the vanilla. How do I want to create that different scoops of ice cream? So you're just going to play around with it. And I might even make some of these a little bit smaller so it's not just coming off all the way. So you can kind of see, you can kind of play around with those different pieces and adjust them and alter them so that it fits the way you want your design to look. It doesn't all have to be the same. I might change this side a little bit more. So even though we cut them all out at the same time, we can always go back and adjust and alter. All right, so I have my ice cream. I think I want the vanilla on top because I think I might add some sprinkles to this when we're done. So. 
vanilla, strawberry, then chocolate. And you can choose different colors, different flavors, however you want to do that. Now we're going to make a cherry that's gonna go on top. So we want to cut out a circle. We don't want the circle to be too big or too small. We want a nice cherry that's gonna go on top of our ice cream. Just like that. All right, so now I kinda have my design the way I want it. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue everything down. For our final details, now that everything is glued down, we're going to add some sprinkles and we're going to add some designs to our glass jar or glass container that our ice cream is inside of. So I'm gonna use markers to create these details. All right, boys and girls, and here you can see our ice cream stacked really high with lots of different layers. We used overlapping. We created our bowl or our container that is symmetrical, the same on both sides. We used markers, we cut and glued, and we used a pencil to draw our designs. I cannot wait to see your beautiful ice cream and how Hi, it is stacked on your paper. I hope you enjoyed this project and we'll see you next time.